Hello and welcome. This is Kendra and I'm so glad you're here. Today, I'm super excited to be a part of an awesome collaboration with Call Me Crafty Elle. She is the creator of Sheetload of Cards, where she offers a monthly printable to subscribers of her YouTube channel with instructions on how to make a bunch or a sheet load of cards using a sketch. It's a two page printable with a list of supplies you'll need, plus the sketch with measurements and cutting guides to make the most of your supplies. It usually yields between 6 and 12 cards depending on the paper size and the card sketch. And this month, Alicia used one of the sketches from one of my card challenges, card challenge number 12 for her January of 2024 sheet load, sketch number 5. And I used four of Alicia's sketches in my current card challenge number 13. If you're not familiar with my quarterly card challenges, it's where you can create 15 cards with six sheets of six by six pattern paper using the cutting guides and sketches provided in my free printable. I invite you to watch my introduction video linked above that explains all about it and how you can enter to win prizes. What's so awesome about this collaboration is that members of my creative team are all creating cards using her January of 2024 sheet load. And members of Alicia's collaboration team are creating cards using Kendra's Card Challenge 13. You can hop along for a chance to win a prize. So stick around to find out how to enter. So you can get nine cards from this month's sheet load using three sheets of 12 by 12 paper. I usually use six by six pattern paper. So I was excited to be able to go through some of my card kits that I've had in my stash. So I decided to use this one. This is the card making kit by Echo Park Paper called New Day. And this is available at scrapbook.com and I'll have it linked below. But this is from March of 2022 and it came with all of these goodies that you see here. Now there are some chipboard embellishments and then there's also a six by six paper pad, which I won't be using for this since it calls for 12 by 12 paper, but there's also some matching ephemera Here's a picture of all of the different die cuts that come in the pack. I know it's kind of hard to see on camera here, but um, it also comes with matching enamel dots, plus some washi tape with uh, rainbows. And then this is the collection kit here that contains the 12 by 12 papers. There's this yellow sheet with white dots and on the back there's bees on a blue background. There's rows of flowers on a white background with some green uh, greenery on the back. There's this awesome plaid with clouds on the back. Then there's this darker blue with clusters of white dots and it has cameras on the back. Then there's this pink and mauve checkered pattern and it has a floral print on the back. Then there's this green checkered pattern with a floral, small floral on a dark blue background. Then this pattern with ice cream cones on a pink background. And then on the back it has rainbows. Then there's this mint green pattern. And on the other side it has some cut aparts. Some large cut aparts. And then there are flower pots. And then it has a mauve floral pattern on the back. And then there's these pennants. On the other side there's uh, more cut aparts. These are the four by four cut aparts. And then there's this floral pattern on a white background. And again, more cut aparts. These are the three by four. And then this pattern with suns. And this has different size cut aparts along with some borders across the bottom. And that's all of the pattern paper. But this collection kit also has a cardstock sticker sheet. And it's got a ton of images on it. Super cute. I just love the theme of this kit. Now for my sheet load, I'm going with the yellow sheet with dots, the one with the row of flowers, and that fun plaid. And I'm going to use the blue sheet for some of the layers. So I'm cutting the papers using the cutting guides from page two of her printable. And I'm making sure to cut my paper so that my flowers are facing the right way. And I um, also cut the other two sheets the same exact way. I just did this off camera. And then I cut the blue pattern for the layers. And the instructions on how to cut the layers are um, on page two. But she shows it being cut from two sheets of eight and a half by 11 inch paper. 
but I figured I'd try to cut as many of the pieces as I could from this 12 by 12 paper since this blue is kind of a different shade and I didn't really have any cardstock in this uh, shade um, but I was able to get most of the layers that I needed I was just a few short so I brought in a sheet of mauve cardstock for the rest now rather than me showing how to make all nine cards I'll just show how to put together one I used pink heavyweight cardstock for my card base on this one. On most of the others, I used white, but I loved all of the patterns, so I just kept flipping them over until I was happy with the combination. For the focal image on this card, I picked out an oval from the chipboard embellishments that says, in a sky full of clouds be a rainbow. So I decided to go with the clouds and the yellow dots for my strips to match the sentiment. And I, um, glued all of this together using my Nuvo Deluxe Adhesive and I just love this um, precision glue press. I know I've said that in several of, several of my videos recently so if you're new to my channel and you're not familiar with this glue press you gotta check it out. It's definitely um, been a game changer for me. But anyway to finish off this card I um, added some of those enamel dots to both ends of that strip that goes across the middle there. Now I'll show you all of my finished cards. I used a variety of stickers, cut aparts, and ephemera for the focal points, even though they're not all circles. I just wanted to use what I could that was part of the kit. And while I show you the cards, I'll tell you how to enter the giveaway. Just complete the form linked in the description box below by January 31st after you've completed the hop. And I'll randomly select a winner and announce it on the community tab here on my YouTube channel. So make sure you're a subscriber and turn on those notifications so you don't miss any of my posts. Now I did bring in some Stickles glitter glue to add to some of these focal images like here on the sun. I also added it to the centers of the flowers. And I did put some Nouveau crystal drops in morning dew on a few of the cards like the one with the vases and that dries clear and just makes things shiny but I think things like this just add a lot of detail to the card and I enjoyed making these cards so much that I made another set using some of the other pattern papers in the kit so I'll quickly show you those two to me you can never have too many thank you cards and I always seem to run out so I decided to make this set using this stamp set by Lawn Fawn and this is called Magic Messages and I love using this for cards where I need circle sentiments and as you can see it's well loved but here are my second set of cards and for this set I used navy cardstock for my layers I tried to change these up using both sides of the papers and I did make one birthday card because I loved the uh, circle chipboard pieces that say happy but I love how these turned out also I definitely made a sheet load of cards so I hope this inspires you to get creative and check out Crafty Owl's sheet load of cards if you haven't already. For information on how to download her PDF, click on the link in the description box. And if you're new to my card challenges, you can find more information at kendrascardchallenges.com or click on the link below. I hope you'll hop along with us and check out all of the other card making inspiration that both teams have to share with you. I really appreciate you watching and I hope to see you again soon. Happy crafting!